Ripple XRP, they just warned US. Must see before it happens. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is zero. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 13600000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. Ripple has requested permission from Judge Sarah Netburn to serve two subpoenas for third parties who are not parties to the process to verify the authenticity of seven copies of videotaped public statements by SEC officials regarding previous disclosure requests, RFA, see below. According to Ripple, the Securities and Exchange Commission refused to grant the request. Hashtag Zer Community, Hashtag Seca versus. Hashtag Ripple Hashtag XRP Ripple defendants are requesting permission to serve third-party subpoenas to authenticate videos of public appearances by seven SEC officials in connection with the previous RFA. The SEC does not give consent, and the SEC tries to reopen the opening. Recall that on July 19, 2022, the court ruled that the parties should meet and discuss the RFA, asking the SEC to confirm the authenticity of seven videos of public speeches of its officials. Ripple quoted an excerpt from the court ruling, such an agreement may entail the creation of uploaded versions of comments for authentication and preservation. Following the court's directive, the parties met and conferred on July 27, 2022. Despite the initial agreement that she would confirm the authenticity of the statements as soon as she gets access to the videos, the SEC prohibits Ripple from downloading video content from the platforms on which they are located. The SEC has not yet agreed to Ripple's request. According to Ripple, the videos are hosted on two video sharing platforms. Seven videos are subject to the platform's terms of service, which include preventing unauthorized persons from downloading content without prior consent. Based on this, the defendants, including Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, requested consent from video sharing platforms. In response to the request, the platforms demanded that Ripple send a subpoena before it was granted permission to download the video. As part of the effort to ensure the authenticity of the seven videos, the defendants requested permission to send subpoenas for both video platforms. According to Ripple, the purpose of what is happening is to get the video without violating the terms of service of video sharing platforms. As soon as the subpoena request is approved, the blockchain company intends to provide the video to the Securities and Exchange Commission for authentication. However, the SEC has not yet agreed to Ripple's request. In particular, the Securities and Exchange Commission informed the defendants that it would consent only if the defendants agreed to reopen the investigation so that the Securities and Exchange Commission could now serve its own set of subpoenas to obtain copies of unspecified videos in support of its claims, and only if the defendants continue agree to waive any objections regarding authenticity and procedural objections to unknown SEC videos, Ripple added. Ripple objects to any attempt to reopen discovery. The blockchain company describes the SEC's terms as completely illegitimate because the commission did not provide any RFA for authentication at the time of discovery, adding that it strongly objects to any attempt by the commission to resume discovery. For clarity, Ripple noted that the two subpoenas it is trying to file on the video sharing platform are not a step towards reopening discovery and do not pose a problem for the court schedule. The subpoenas relate to the RFA defendants who were served before the end of the investigation of the facts on August 31, 2021, and are necessary to comply with the order, Ripple concluded. 
Meanwhile, the SEC's refusal to consent to Ripple's subpoena provoked a reaction from attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan, who said, Ripple just wants to authenticate seven videos of SEC employees making speeches, and the SEC is messing with it again, the SEC played games by responding initially last year. Authentication is a standard procedure in lawsuits and shouldn't be that complicated. A request for disclosure of information, requests for admissions, RFA, is a list of questions that are similar in some respects to interrogations, but different in form and purpose. Each question has the form of a declarative statement in which the responding party must then either admit or refute or explain in detail why he or she cannot either admit or refute the veracity of the statement, for example, due to lack of information, etc. Earlier, the SEC said it could not confirm or deny the authenticity of the video recording with William Hinman, who served as the Director of Corporate Finance of the Department. The Securities and Exchange Commission responded to a request from Ripple and individual defendants to serve subpoenas to two non-parties to authenticate seven videos of public speeches by SEC officials. The SEC described Ripple's request as a reopening to resume the pretrial stage of the study, adding that it does not take any position on the defendants' claims. Recall that on August 3, 2022, Ripple requested permission to serve subpoenas to two video hosting platforms to obtain seven videos of commission officials on which they made various public statements. After waiting five days, the commission filed a brief response to the defendant's request, which reads, The plaintiff, the Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully takes no position with respect to the defendant's request to reopen the investigation of the facts in order to file subpoenas to third parties in order to obtain video recordings for authentication. Hashtag your community, hashtag SECA versus. Hashtag Ripple hashtag XRP The Securities and Exchange Commission has filed a one-line response to Ripple defendants' efforts to enforce Judge Netburn's decision to authenticate SEC officials' videos. The Securities and Exchange Commission said it was not taking a position on Ripple's request to resume fact-finding. SEC plans to change Ripple's request in its favor. Notably, Ripple has stated that its request is not an attempt to reopen the discovery of facts. The blockchain company and two of its executives noted that the subpoenas they want to serve to a person who is not a party are related to requests for admission, RFA, filed before the end of the discovery. It's clear that the SEC wants to mark Ripple's request as a fact discovery rediscovery because it also wants to resume fact discovery. The commission also plans to serve its subpoenas to obtain unidentified video recordings, which confirms its claim that XRP is a security. In particular, the Securities and Exchange Commission informed the defendants that it would consent only if the defendants agreed to reopen the investigation so that the Securities and Exchange Commission could now serve its own set of subpoenas to obtain copies of unspecified videos in support of its claims, and only if the defendants also agree. Waive any objections regarding authenticity and procedural objections to unknown SEC videos, Ripple said. However, Ripple maintains that its request is not to reopen the discovery of facts, adding that it strongly objects to the SEC's attempts to do the same. The blockchain company stated that the subpoenas that Ripple intends to serve do not pose a problem for the court schedule. Commenting on this event, lawyer James K. Phelan, a former U.S. federal prosecutor, criticized the response of the Securities and Exchange Commission as an abuse of the judicial process and a waste of court time. The SEC's response is simply an abuse of the judicial process and a waste of the court's time, as evidenced by the fact that the SEC waited five days to file a one-sentence response in which the SEC misinterpreted Ripple's original request. The parties want their petition to be classified. Meanwhile, both the SEC and Ripple have jointly filed a request for a briefing schedule for the proposals to seal parts of their response to each other's proposal in order to exclude expert testimony. The parties propose that all briefings and supporting documents concerning petitions to exclude expert testimony should be classified until Judge Annalisa Torres deals with this. Hashtag your community, hashtag SECA versus. Hashtag Ripple, hashtag XRP. The parties have submitted a request for a briefing schedule for proposals to close parts of their responses to each other's proposals in order to exclude expert testimony. This means that everything will be recorded and will remain sealed until Judge Torres has sorted it out. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.